Hi Virgo and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of January 7th through January 13th, 2019. I'm going to start by pulling a couple primary energies for your love reading. Okay, that is going to be a little bonus message right there that we will look up at the end. So over here we have intimacy. And is my camera having a hard time? There we go. Here we have intimacy. And over here we have sexuality. Very interesting, Virgo. Um, right away, for some Virgos out there, I am getting the sense of a lot of attention coming your way. The very next card would actually be love. All right. So I'm getting the sense that you're getting a lot of attention, a lot of sexual attention. Um, just, I don't want to call it empty attention, but you're getting a lot of attention that's sexually based or around your looks or, you know, you, you don't feel like somebody is seeing to your soul. You are searching for true intimacy and love and you just feel like, um, whether the person intends it or not, like you don't feel seen, you don't feel heard, you don't feel recognized. It's like you just want something from me. That's how Virgo's feeling this week is like you just want something from me. You don't really care about me. And for many of you, obviously singles um, or those who are in the dating pool, you feel like um, all the attention being given to you is more sexually based. It's not you know, on a foundation of true connection, like even if you feel very connected, it's the person that you're involved with that you're questioning. And, you know, this doesn't just have to be sexuality. This could be other things where ultimately, Virgo, you are desiring um, connections of the soul, true intimacy that has nothing to do with uh, physicality or coming together in the sexual act. It, this is like, you know, the dimension beyond that where it's soul. You connect at that level, very energetic exchange between you and the other person. And this goes through conversation, um, through just being in each other's company, you know, snuggling up and watching a movie together or snuggling in the bed before work. It's just those moments that... Um, are worth everything, right? The moments that make life magic, the moments that just feel right where all in the world is safe, especially in a very specific person's arms. But for whatever reason, Virgo, this week, you're just kind of feeling used or taken advantage of. Um, or you're like, I just want connection. I just want to talk and everybody's coming at you. You could be a Virgo where, you know, you're not really looking for a relationship. Um, you're open if it comes, but you're not really looking for one and you're not entertaining anything superficial. But you're like, my God, I just want to be friends. Can we not be friends? And no matter how many times you're telling somebody, it's like they're just not getting it. And you're like, my mind's not changing. Like, you know, if you're working on emotional baggage, you're like, uh, yesterday I told you I had some things I need to work out in myself. You know, that didn't change overnight. So it's kind of energy like that. You're not feeling respected. Um, you're just really questioning things. So let's pull some cards from this deck and see um, what else comes out with that. All right, so um, a place beyond time. Like, yeah, and this is coming out over here. It says, don't get so caught up with the everyday drama of life. Close your eyes, focus on your breath, and allow it to carry you into a peaceful space inside your heart, an eternal place beyond time filled with only love. So that's what Virgo is wanting, is nothing but this. And over here, we have holiday, which... Um, the spirit of the ocean calls you, offering healing and much needed peace. Come to the water and connect with all its endless flow and magic. You need a change of scenery. Take a holiday and all will fall into place. So over here on this side, Virgo, I I feel spirit is saying that um, if this person could just take a holiday, a break from asking of you, wanting of you, and just be in your space and take you to that place beyond time, that connection, um, you are, you'll be back to normal. I don't know, Virgo, this week you're very sensitive. Um, 
even if somebody's not coming at you like that, like that's how you're perceiving it because it, it's um, like, Virgo, I need this. Virgo, let's do that. Virgo, you looking sexy. Ooh, Virgo, I want some of you. And it, it's like all of that is turning you off and you're like, what about the Virgo inside here in my heart? Like, do you miss me? Do you want to talk to me? Do you want to know how my day was? Do you want to know what's on my mind? Do you want to know what my dreams are? Do you want to know what I'm afraid of? Do you want to know me? Or do you want to just know what it is that I do for you? And um, this reminds me of a lesson in the trans uh, transformational Osho Tarot deck that I have. I'll be um, doing some videos on that deck specifically because the messages are just so rich. Each card has a story and one of the stories is about um, you know these monks who are walking through the forest and they come to this clearing where every single tree but one has been cut down so the monks you know go ask the people who are destroying the forest why do you leave this one tree and they say well look at it it's branches are all twisted and turned it has so many knots it's useless we could make nothing out of this tree it is useless so the tree just stays there and they don't touch it and the whole point of the story is when you present yourself as not having anything to offer or to give but yourself your time your conversation your company when that's all you present about yourself to people you will know who's truly interested in Virgo and who's truly interested in ulterior motives what can I get from this what can I make out of this so sometimes it's you know in your benefit to not hide your shine like always be who you are your personality you know don't hold that back but you know if you're somebody who's really generous and giving and let me help you and all of those things no and it, let's say you have a lot of resources, a lot of connections, you're incredibly attractive. Really try to diminish those physical material things and present yourself, your personality, your conversation, your company. And if that is not enough for somebody, Virgo, that tells you everything you need to know. And that's kind of how I feel you are this week where that's what you want. You want somebody to just be in your space, to be in your space because they want to be near you, next to you. No other reason but that. And it's just like it calls from your heart. I feel it so strong. Um, now, some Virgos, um, if we're planning a vacation this week to recharge our batteries um, and you're planning it, you know, with your partner, it looks like it, it's going to be a nice vacation where you do get a disconnect and, you know, achieve this vibration of energy that you're so desiring this week. So some of you could be desiring this because you are planning this fabulous vacation. Um, or some of you, it's just you are feeling very sensitive and you're like, this is what I need right now. For whatever reason, this is what I need. So let's pull some more cards, Virgo. Alright, so we have a fall, we have a separation, and we have purge. Wow, Virgo, look at that. Over on this side we have healing, devotion, and third party. Okay, Virgo, so this makes a lot of sense um, once I've pulled out the uh, Twin Flame Oracle. What I'm seeing here for some Virgos, there's several messages, but for some Virgos, this is where you're separated from somebody because they're what, they were involved with another person or um, they just put everything else in their life first before you. With third party energy, there was some other factor involved in the relationship which really made you feel unappreciated, used, all those things. And with fall here, um, this could be where we've, we had the uh, disconnection, the breakup, the separation starting last fall, or this could be where this week, um, it's like finally everything's coming to fruition, everything's coming to a head, and if you are involved in a situation where they're just dating, committed, um, 
or hope being hopeful it's almost like you're you get to the point this week where you're like no I'm done I'm separating myself from all of this I'm purging it like unless you're gonna be near me for the right reasons I don't want you I don't care if you're my heart and my soul and I believe you're the only person I will ever love in this lifetime if you can't meet me in that space and love me back the same I don't want you I don't want you who Virgo that feels quite strong um but because of uh, what I see over here you know Virgo they may be trying to come back into your life okay and saying um, maybe we should go on a vacation or um, maybe we need to go to counseling like the person could either still be in your life or like completely separated but I see for some Virgos this person is like hey I'm all about you I'll really I'll really be in it this time I, I truly will and you're like you need to get rid of whatever that third party situation is and be devoted to me and our relationship together um, so there's like some friction here even for those of you who are involved um, where you are wanting more time more energy more effort from your partner for whatever reason and you know they may suggest let's go on a vacation let's go do this let's go do that but also because this is general and we have separation and holiday here this could be where this week, it's like you finally decide, all oh, right, I want it out of this. I'm just going to separate myself from this person. Whether you can completely end it right now this week, or this is something you're just starting to prepare yourself to do. Um, I don't know, Virgo, this is a very interesting read. It's just like I feel like you're at the end. Um, any relationship that you're committed to or just entertaining, if it's not making you feel this, you aren't wanting it. You just, you don't. Um, this is general, so clearly not all Virgos in the world, but it's almost like you want to take a holiday from sexual relations, from dating, from having to be somebody's wife or partner. Like, you're like, I just want to just be and relate yes that's what I'm searching for I just want to relate I just want to vibe and we used to vibe but you're so distracted with life with other people with your friends with your job you know um, I just we don't vibe and I this needs to change or we have to end like I, I can't do this anymore Virgo it just feels really sensitive to me on this side. Um, now some of you who have been in this healing process for some time getting over a breakup, um, this might be your magic week. I'm just saying because we have the purge card here, a place beyond time. Um, this might be the week where things start feeling better inside of you. Alright, well that one wants to stay, so that is part of that. Okay, so we have Balance. We have Nine of Cups. And we have the Four of Coins. Yeah, see Virgo, these first cards out um, are talking about that uh, feeling I said where you want that true connection where it's equal um, on both sides, okay? The give and take is equal. Like, you don't feel like somebody's just in your space because they need from you or, you know, um, you're their partner and that's just like, I don't, I, I, it's like escaping me, like the depth I want to go in this. But man, here it is, right? In these first three cards, I want that balance, that is my wish and I want it to be long lasting because some of you, this might be where, one moment they're in and they're doing what they're supposed to do and then it's like everything just falls back into its old routine and you're like I can't do this anymore I really want true connection at all times even if we're fighting I need to know you're still on my side on on my team and that we're just not seeing eye to eye because what I see here is like when it's fighting it's we're at mortal enemies and you don't know what's going to happen or, or what to expect from this person. And I just think um, it's not even like you're stressed out, you're anxious, you're sad. It's almost like you're beyond all of that now and you're just exhausted. And like, you know what? I, I Please, just 
drop me off on a corner of a street somewhere and never look back you know I feel that for some of you and and that would be okay you at this point you're like that would be okay um, because you're tired of the back and forth back and forth it's like make up your mind do you want to work on this or is everything else more important to you next out is king of cups so some of you could be dealing with a water sign cancer scorpio pisces next out is the two of coins and this is where at the look center of the reading we've got to um make some choices but also a reflection of i want the balance and the consistency of that balance king of staves so king of wands some of you this could involve a fire sign aries leo sag next out we have the six of coins yep look at this all the way down it's like i want fairness i want to be treated like i'm a person with a mind with emotions with opinions and that it counts for something and not just when it serves you and when it's convenient for you look at this we have sacrifice virgo so we have nine of cups two of coins sacrifice so some of you this is a choice that must be made and there is a sacrifice to it but you know um prince of arrows it's that's what has to be done because arrows are swords prince of arrows would be the um knight of swords and that's you know giving you the power to say what you've got to say and cut somebody off cut somebody out of your life virgo if that's truly what needs to happen okay um I just don't think you even have the energy anymore to fight um, or to get somebody to see your side. Oh, I don't like these hard readings, Virgo. I'm sorry. I just see you wanting to just connect and just love like nothing beyond that. It's not even like about what somebody has, what they do for a living, what they look like. It's like I just want to feel connected soul to soul and somebody to understand me in that capacity where you know you don't have to always explain yourself you don't have to defend yourself like they just get you and they feel you and they understand you and it's not like you're asking for too much because you offer that already right so Virgo yeah um, you're not wrong for what you want you're not wrong and I think you're finally coming to that realization that you're not asking for too much and you know this person one minute's on board next minute they're not like it's very wishy-washy it's like um, I'm all sensitive sad and emotional and now I'm being mean and I'm raging and I have a temper and I'm yelling it's like this person goes back and forth between these two um, polarities or this is where oh I'm all in this I'm all about you Virgo and then you turn around and it's like they can't be found they're off out and about doing their own thing with God knows who so it's like uh, you're dealing with a very selfish partner Virgo and for those who are cross watching if you know that you're not a selfish partner then this reading has nothing to do with you I promise because what I'm seeing here is some very tired and exhausted Virgos and uh, some partners who are incredibly selfish and just no matter what like don't hear you okay so let's pull some Okay, so we're going to clarify with some tarot dice for a while and see what comes out there. Okay, so I go with the top and this caught my eye first and look at this. It landed right on um, the third party card, the tower. So Virgo, some of you, this is like... Um, where you're finding out information that really shocks you, okay? Um, or it could just shock you that your partner is so more worried about, like, um, their friends, their job, just something else that's not you. Or this could even be where you did find out there was somebody else they were seeing, and that's why they won't commit to you. Or maybe they outright cheated on you, and um, that's exactly, and now they're trying to come back, and 
you're just like, I don't trust you. Like, this is the same thing over and over. Now, look at this. On King of Staves, we have the Four of Pentacles here. All right? You have the Four of Pentacles right there. So, again, this person is not very stable. That's, you want the stability. Like, they're um, connected, they're emotional, they're in, and then they're disconnected and they're off with others. And it's like they can't be bothered by you. And look at this. This is the Wheel of Fortune, and it sits right here on this King of Cups. So, yeah, this is talking about how the wheel turns back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, um, between two polarities in one person, or between two different people, Virgo. Um, this is general, so this very well could be where you keep going back and forth between two people, and, you know, the time has come for you to separate and purge yourself from one of them. I don't get that so much, but it is general, so I'm going to put that out there. Uh, but yeah, it's like the back and forth, back and forth, and you apply that how it fits for your situation personally, and if it doesn't fit, then maybe this message is not for you. And um, now over here on the top, we have the Four of Cups sitting on the Nine of Cups. It's like I am so tired of this same thing. It, it's stale. It's boring. It's stagnant. I want some I want some stimulation. I want connection. I want closeness. I want understanding. That's your wish. Like you want out of this Four of Cups energy. You're tired of it. Oh, Virgo. So let's pull you guys some advice and then we'll look at those two cards for additional messages. All right, so we have surrender defensiveness. It says defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, st stay centered and hear somebody out, then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Virgo, this is saying don't fight anybody when they get when they get really stupid, petty, immature. Say all the things to trigger you and push your buttons. Um, to get you really upset. This is Spirit saying don't even fall into that trap. If somebody's being stupid and you know they're being stupid, they know they're being stupid too. And um, you choosing to engage them and try to talk about it, it's like you're going to get nowhere. So that's why it's better when they start getting crazy to just be like, you know what, nope, not even talking to you and cut them off until they're ready to be civil and normal and have an adult conversation with you. So don't don't fight this week, Virgo. It's not worth your time. And I just feel like they're doing it more to go through the motions rather than fighting with you, trying to work towards a conclusion and a goal and a solution for you guys. All right, new beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now, life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Virgo, um, to me, we have purge, we have separation. This is like with new beginning, and this is your advice, it's time to let go of the past. Um, if you deal with somebody who's flaky in and out, you might want to just really cut them off, cut them out. Um, if you are in a committed relationship with somebody who is loving one minute but just really mean and, and nasty the next, Virgo, Spirit is saying you deserve more than this. Like It's time to purge the negative energies in your life in regards to love and romantic situations and different people. Um, you know, and I'm not like a person who encourages anybody to break up, but Virgo, if this situation just goes round and round and round and round, back and forth, back and forth, it is time to make a new decision and handle things in a different way so that, you know, this energy can shift and can change because at the end of the day, all you're looking for is a true, deep soul connection. And Spirit wants to bring that to you, okay? So let's see what else came out. Boundaries. Oh my gosh. And uh, look at this. Five of staves. So Virgo, with boundaries and five of staves, this is basically everything I just said in this entire reading. It's you need to assert yourself and 
even though you love and care about somebody, they don't get a free pass to hurt you, to betray you, to manipulate you, to leave you standing all on your own, um, to make you constantly, constantly question whether they're on your team or on your side or not. Like, no, Virgo, it's time for boundaries with the people um, in your romantic situations that just take advantage um, and don't hear you. And I'm not saying they don't love you and care about you. I'm saying they don't hear your voice. And so that's why the same thing kind of repeats and you always end up feeling just so empty even and alone even in a you know committed relationship because it's it's really hard when you're a lover and you're a giver to not want your partner your children your animals your friends for everybody around you to be happy and satisfied like that's just and a Virgo you know being all earthly and um, all that you know creative energy and fertile energy that's just a natural part of you you guys are like you know mother nature in human form and it's in your personalities to help to heal to nurture and you know just that plays out in different ways for all of you because you're all different people but there's no Virgo that doesn't have a healing quality to them that doesn't have this fertile energy where they can make things grow and you know just really improve the energy of situations so Virgo listen We've got to set boundaries, even though you feel really conflicted and you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, you don't want anybody feeling bad or unsatisfied. This week is the week where you've got to think about yourself and what's the best for you. Not fight, but ask spirit, what's this new beginning? Is there, what can I do to create a new beginning in this relationship? Or what can I do to create a new beginning for myself that doesn't involve this relationship? And spirit will show you, okay, Virgo? But I really feel like we need to purge the past and just move forward fearlessly and trust spirit in all things, okay? So Virgo, those are your messages. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.